Hello there, you ravishing human being you. I'm Chris from Techspert, and this bad boy right here is the Xiaomi 13T Pro. Now, the Xiaomi 13T phones are a cheaper alternative to those lovely Xiaomi 13 flagships, while still packing some nipple flick in the awesome tech. Here in the 13T Pro, you'll find a beefy Dimensity 9200 Plus that can absolutely muller its way through any games out there, plus a 120 watt fast charging battery, a gorgeous 144Hz AMOLED screen, and some clever bollocks Leica optics. Woof! I don't know about you, but I've certainly got some trouser tent action on the go. So let's whip the Xiaomi 13T Pro on out of the box. I'm going to be testing out the gaming tech, the battery life, the performance, all that good stuff. And for more on the latest and greatest tech, please do pause, subscribe and ding that notifications bell. Cheers! So what are you getting that there are a box besides, of course, the Xiaomi 13T Pro? Well, you've also got yourself the absolute Godzilla of chargers. It's a 120 watt beast, a highly exciting Type-C USB cable. And oh yes, my friend, Xiaomi has kindly bundled a condom case to keep your 13T Pro in perfect nick. you love to see it. And that's your lot besides the usual quick start guide guff. So let's check out the phone. So here it is, my lovelies, the Xiaomi 13T Pro. Just shy of 6.7 inches of pure joy right in your hand. And Xiaomi hasn't pulled any shocks or surprises really with the design. It certainly looks like a Xiaomi smartphone. It certainly weighs a bloody ton and all. You've got three different color options with this bad boy. This right here is the Alpine Blue model, which boasts a gorgeous vegan leather finish. So you've got this textured surface, which is soft to the touch, feels lovely when the Xiaomi 13T Pro is pressed to your palms, with the added bonus that it adds a bit of extra grip as well. So the Xiaomi 13T Pro shouldn't go sliding out of your grasp, even if you're a bit sweaty. Or if you're not really a fan of that leathery option, where you can also grab this Xiaomi blower in black or meadow green. Both of those come with a glass back instead. Gotta say though, that camera housing does jut quite far out of the arse end of the Xiaomi 13T Pro. So this unfortunately means the 13T Pro won't lie flat on a desk and it kind of wobbles about all over the place when you're prodding it and poking it. As you can see there, that display pretty much fills the entire front end of this smartphone, very skinny bezels surrounding it. And it is a completely flat display as well, no curved edges. And it's Gorilla Glass 5 protecting that front end as well. Not Victus, but to be fair, Gorilla Glass 5 is pretty good. Tends to be quite scratch resistant. And the Xiaomi 13T Pro also IP68 water and dust resistant like a lot of flagships. So no worries if you want to use it in a bubbly bath. So overall, besides that slightly boring jutty out camera bit, I really like the design on the Xiaomi 13T Pro. It is a shame about the plastic frame. However, it does make the 13T Pro feel a little bit cheap. Now it's the software side of things where Xiaomi tends to attract a bit of aggro with its smartphones and it is once again MIUI 14 here slapped on top of Android 13. However, while Xiaomi used to be frankly rather cack when it came to software updates, they have at least mended their ways in this regard. Because with the 13T Pro, you are guaranteed four Android updates and five years of security updates as well. So that's you covered all the way up to Android 17 and then the security update should keep on rolling in until 2028? What year are we in again? So that really is fantastic news. But of course, the usual MIUI foibles do remain. For instance, the sheer amount of crapware that's packed onto this phone. As well as Xiaomi's own apps, you get loads of third-party crap. You've got WPS Office, Spotify, TikTok, the Opera browser. Lots of random shit that unfortunately quite a lot of you just can't get rid of. At least not without using a bit of third-party help. At least you can get the likes of Booking.com to bugger right off. But you know, me UI these days, it doesn't piss about too much with Android. So you've got your apps tray if you want it. You've got your Google Discover feed. And you've got some worthy bonus bits like that control center, which can be dragged down from the right side of the screen. It may be an iOS ripoff, but it's pretty bloody good. Fast access to all your toggles and your smart home shenanigans. And you can fully customize your me UI experience right down to the smallest details. Security measures are decent as well. You've got an in-display fingerprint sensor. As you can see there, no buggering about, just a quick tap of your thumb to that sensor and you're straight into your desktops. And you can even use that fingerprint sensor to check your heart rate. Mine's probably through the roof because not only am I all hot and bothered from handling the Xiaomi 13T Pro, but I also just downed a double espresso. 69 BPM, the horniest of all heart rates. And yeah, you've got Face Unlock as a backup as well if your hands are a bit grubby or moist or whatever. But as the Xiaomi 13T Pro itself points out, this is less secure than the fingerprint sensor. 
And hey, Xiaomi has absolutely smashed it on the storage front as well. You've got a choice of either 256 gigs, 512 gigs, or a full terabyte of storage. As you can see, I'm the halfway house here. Only used up a tiny chunk of this so far, and that includes a good bit of Genshin frickin' impact. And of course, as usual with flagship blows, this isn't expandable via micro SD. Although you do have space in that SIM slot for two physical SIMs, and the Xiaomi 13T Pro also supports eSIM. And also loving the complete randomness of Xiaomi's wallpaper carousel. Yeah. Now let's take a moment to appreciate Xiaomi's 6.67 inch AMOLED display. It is needless to say ruddy massive, but the 2712 by 1220 pixel resolution keeps those images nice and crisp. It's 446 pixels per inch for any of you stats fans out there. And because it's AMOLED tech, your eyes will be overjoyed at the stunning picture quality here. You've got HDR10 Plus and Dolby Vision streaming support. It's got crispy contrast, and when you're kicking back with something a bit more vivid, a bit more vibrant, like some anime, for instance, those colours really just pop off the screen. It is, whoa, cocaine for the eyeballs. Nice wide viewing angles as well. Only a dinky wee selfie cam, which, honestly, it's not even noticeable. And also, this is a super-powered awesomely bright panel. That brightness typically hits around 1200 nits, but it can scale up to an eyeball sear in 2600 nits. So if you happen to live somewhere particularly sunshiny, I can only imagine how lovely that is, no worries with countering any kinds of nasty, awful glare. And that refresh rate also maxes out at 144 hertz, although I don't believe it's LTPO tech here. I don't think it drops below 60 hertz. And as you would expect, Xiaomi has slapped a stereo speaker setup on the 13T Pro. Let's bump up that volume, see if it's any good. It's no longer 35 degrees here anyway. It's significantly cooled down, so my happy sack has finally peeled away from my inner thigh. And my spine is no longer a dripping sweat trench deploying fresh body gush into my wife fronts 24 hours a day. So yeah, all in all, things are looking up. So yeah, respectable audio output on that max volume. Certainly doesn't sound tinny or anything, still quite full body, despite the fact that it's pretty loud. And the AP speaker actually does a pretty decent job, pumps out a fair bit of audio to try and keep up with that bottom mounted speaker. And inside of those sound settings, you'll see you do have full Dolby Atmos support in here and a good bit of equalizer action. So you can piddle about with that audio output to your heart's content, really boost that bass. And of course, there's no headphone jack here on the Xiaomi 13T Pro, shock surprise, but you do have support for up to Bluetooth 5.4, so certainly future-proofed, if nothing else. Now, I was definitely keen to test out the performance here on the Xiaomi 13T Pro because it's powered by MediaTek's Dimensity 9200+, Plus. and it's backed by a generous 12 or 16 gigs of RAM. My review sample came with the base 12 gigs of RAM, and hey, here's some Geekbench scores if you're a benchmarking person but certainly the everyday performance on this bad boy super silky smooth no hanging around apps just load up instantly and you've got that fresh immortalist g715 mc16 gpu stuffed in here and this frankly is a bit of a shit house absolutely no issues running genshin impact on the highest detail settings i rarely saw any kind of dip in that frame rate even when I was bouncing about all over the place like I had no idea what I was doing, which is rather apt because I have no idea what I'm doing. That perfectly flat display, beautifully responsive, very well suited to gaming. And you do have a dedicated cooling system built into the Xiaomi 13T Pro, including a vapor chamber to kick that heat build up right in the knackers. And this seems to do the job rather nicely. I did notice the top end of the smartphone started to get quite warm after around sort of 30, 40 minutes of non-stop gaming. But I didn't notice any throttling to the performance and certainly my fingers didn't get particularly sweaty. And with MIUI, you get a pretty decent dedicated gaming mode which you can swipe out like so at any point. This includes a performance boost feature which shows you how that frame rate is holding up pretty bloody well as you can see here on the Genshin Impact even on that highest graphic settings at 60 FPS. Also clear the memory and free up some storage if you want to. You can screenshot, you've got a do not disturb feature, very handy if you don't want to be troubled in the middle of your gribbly bashing session. Set a timer if you're worried you're going to spend far too long away from reality. And yes, there is a rather bizarre voice changing feature. And also what kind of girl sounds like this, one that's been in a serious boat accident? And Xiaomi smartphones usually don't disappoint when it comes to the battery life and the 13T Pro is no exception. In the few days I've had this smartphone, I found that I haven't run out of juice a single day. It's got a 5,000 mAh capacity cell. 
and this delivers hours of screen on time. Even if you're playing with the camera quite a bit, doing a good bit of Genshin every now and then when you just can't be asked with life, should make it through a full 24 hours, no sweat. And even if you do find yourself running low on juice, where well, you've got that 120 watt super fast hypercharge, whatever the hell they call it. So bung a cable in there in around 20 minutes time, you'll have a full charge, even if this thing's practically drained. However, no wireless charging support here on the Xiaomi 13T Pro, which is kind of a shame because you will find that in quite a few mid-range to flagship smartphones these days. So let's finish up at this Xiaomi 13T Pro unboxing and early review with a squint at that door camera tech, which as you can see there is like a branded as usual. And that primary shooter is a 50 meg 24 mil sensor with optical image stabilization. And I've got to say, I rather like Xiaomi's camera app these days. They managed to squirrel away a lot of the toggles and features that were just staring at you in the face and kind of terrifying you with their complexity. You can quickly and easily call most of them up with a quick swipe down like so. So at least it's quite one-handed friendly. Got all the usual shenanigans in here. You can have a bit of grid lines action. You can turn on that AI camera. Motion track and focus. You can also change up the style of your shots as well. Got a choice of Leica Vibrant if you want those colours to be kicked up the arse a bit. Otherwise Leica Authentic if you prefer a more natural realistic image. You can quickly and easily flick between the ultra wide, the primary and the telephoto shooters like so. And you've got a bugger load of bonus camera modes as well including the obligatory stuff like portrait mode, bit of night mode action and some extra bits including a high res mode if you want to shoot at a full 50 megs. And yes, you do have a dedicated pro mode as well if you want to mess around with the individual settings. And this does allow you to tweak the image format as well, so you can shoot in RAW if you want to edit on the go. For my photo tests, I left the phone in auto mode, flicking between the authentic and vibrant settings. And while the vibrant option does slightly boost those blue skies and emboldens other vivid subjects, it doesn't stray too far into sickly artificial visuals. Likewise, the Xiaomi 13T Pro has a graceful approach to high contrast scenes, keeping tones natural without artificially boosting the brightness in darker regions like an iPhone. In softer lighting, the Xiaomi 13T Pro doesn't impress quite as much as actual flagships. Clarity takes a hit and any motion often results in blur as the shutter action isn't quite as quick. But in the evenings, that dedicated night mode helps to sharpen things up a bit and also temper any flare and light sources. And it's fairly quick too, compared with some rivals. The 13T Pro also serves up a 12 meg 15mm ultra wide angle snapper, and this keeps those visuals fairly consistent. Tones are once again either close to natural or slightly tweaked if you go vibrant. Just don't really bother in low light as the ultra wide loses the plot a bit, and chances are your photo will look poo if there's any kind of motion. Meanwhile, that 50 meg 50mm telephoto shooter is ideal for getting a pleasing portrait shot. And it works pretty well up to the 5 times zoom level. But once you pass that, photos tend to look rather grainy and abstract, shall we say. But despite the lack of optical image stabilisation, I didn't find the image on the screen shook around much as I was lining up a shot. That digital stabilisation certainly does a fine job. And if you want to shoot some video on the go, well, it shoots Full HD by default, but you can boost that to 4K or even 8K. Although here you are restricted to 24 frames per second. You'll need to lower the resolution to at least 4K if you want to play around with 30 or 60 FPS. You can zoom in and out during filming with a smooth, satisfying motion, and the telephoto lens activates automatically at 2 times zoom without a jarring transition. Although again, if you zoom in more than 5 times, don't expect the image to remain sharp. Stabilisation is respectable when shooting 4K video, although there is a slight tremor as you take each step, so you might want to walk slowly if you have to move around at all. And the night video works well too, as long as you haven't had a skin full and you're waving the phone around like a mad twat. And the audio came through cleanly too. The Xiaomi 13T Pro can generally cut out wind feedback and other oral issues. And then if we flip to that selfie cam, you've got a 20 megapixel front facing shooter for all of your selfie needs. And yeah, that's certainly not one of my finer efforts right there. And that selfie cam works well across a range of conditions, even when you're snapping against a beautiful blue sky, which certainly wasn't the case in Blighty, I had to bugger off to Germany to get these pics. The portrait mode works well, and my pale northern flesh was reasonably naturally captured, if a little smoothed over in more ambient light. And as for the video, well, this does top off at a full HD resolution on that selfie cam, there's no 4K option, but as you can see here, it comes reasonably well, again, in strong HDR conditions. And again, that audio pickup, no problem whatsoever. 
And there you have it, that in a lovely wee nutshell is the Xiaomi 13T Pro and box and full tour and what I reckon of it after a few days of using it as my full time phone. And gotta say, while it's nothing particularly original or special, the Xiaomi 13T Pro definitely ticks all of those lovely flagship boxes. If you don't quite have enough to spend on a Galaxy S23 Ultra, something like that, well, this will definitely do the job, hopefully for about half the price. I'm shooting this ahead of the UK launch, so I'm not quite sure on the pricing just yet. But certainly hot competition for the likes of a OnePlus 11 and Nothing Phone 2, etc. Anyway, that's what I reckon, but now it's over to you guys. What do you reckon of the 13T Pro? Are you tempted or do you think it's just not quite there for you? Well, definitely let us know your thoughts down in the comments below. Please do plug, subscribe and ding that notifications bell for more on the latest and greatest tech. And have yourselves a really wonderful rest of the week. Cheers, everyone. Love you.